If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenrolf here. Once again, some MTG Arena. And once again, it gives us another quest, another daily reward that we can do with Merfolk. <laughs> so we're going to do that real quick. That won't take long. I give it three games. Place your bets now. I'm I'm betting three games. I don't know. We'll see. It seems like we might get five Merfolk, five Merfolk, and then ten on one. Zero Fox given again. Uh, the, the T is... Um, salted caramel something or other. Pillow Kitten, hey! I say that like I know who that is. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Alright, what you got, Pillow? Alright, we're off to a great start. We're going first. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, well, if we can't play anything anyway, do we just do the harbor here? <laughs> uh, since we have a trickster, I think I'm inclined to play the harbor. Oh, hello. Hero. Hero. Oh. Vanguard. Oh, joy. Life gain, white weenie. Yay. All right. Well, how about we throw out a silver gill adept, reveal a merfolk, and reveal... I, I guess there's not too much being given away if I show the Jade Light Ranger. It's a mystery to every- it's a secret to everyone- oh no. Not that deck. Okay. Well, crap. Crap. <clears throat> eh. So, a uh, few things we can do here. My inclination is to say, rush out the Ranger and see if we can just get him. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Gonna rush out the ranger. I could hold back the trickster. Ooh. Let's see, I don't have any other lands, though. Library graveyard. Alright. No attacks. Pass the turn. Johnny's welcome. There you are. Better late than never. Do you have a... You have another creature. Good God, why? Well... The... Yeah, this is... This isn't looking good. Alright, so in that case... In that case... I think that I would like to go... Trickster... So we're gonna do Temple of Mystery. Scry. See what we get. Keep it. Let me put a stop on upkeep so I don't forget. I will forget. Just you, my dude. Come on. You know you want to. Nope. Okay. Never mind then. In turn, but... Nani? Let's tap you down. Let's resolve that real quick. Okay, well, I'm trying, folks. I'm doing my best. I don't know if we'll get there, but I'm doing my best. Stop! <laughs> Eight pride mates. True friends always stand by your side. Oh my god. Well, that was quick. That was quick and that was dumb. Okay, so... Uh... Folks, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I can try to go Tempest Caller. I need to kill a Johnny. That's, that's not a question. I have to kill a Johnny. Uh... 
No, 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 I could do Mist Binder, and then I have one creature big enough. But that's not enough. That's not enough. Like, I have to kill a Johnny here, don't I? Hmm. Like, this is... Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's a minus two. Alright. We'll bite the bullet. We'll do it. We'll do it. They only have one card in hand, so I can take a risk here. Just you, man. I can take a risk that they don't have another creature to gain a life. No, no, they're gonna gain a life anyway in combat. That's right. They're gonna gain one life in combat. They're gonna gain two life in combat. Well, okay, so the object of this game is just to play as many as we can, as many creatures as we can, because we're done. <laughs> this, is, this is not a game we can win. No, it's not, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna say no blocks. No blocks. Alright. Well, whale. Silvergill Adept. Reveal Mistbinder. Draw a cot draw a cat. That's a Tempest Caller. That is not enough. Put it on Merfolk. I'm tempted to put it on like Lurgoif. That's not a type in here anyway. But no, we're going to play it correctly, I guess. Alright, we're going to pretend we still have a shot, even though we very clearly do not. Very clearly. Something horrible would have to go wrong here for us to have a shot. There's another bishop. Life gain, life gain. Well, one instance of life gain, but two counters. And then there's another. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Is that all? Is that all? Okay, so obviously I have to block, and I'll block with the two smallest things. Block here. Block here. I say two smallest. The, the Mist Binder's putting in some work. Um, alternatively, I guess I could try to triple block. I could do Trickster, Tempest Caller, Jade Light Ranger, and I could kill one of them. I see you, timer. Okay, okay. One. Two. Three. And I should deal with one of them. Okay. We're living just a tiny bit longer. Tap that down. Just checking. Pillow Kitten is an appropriate name, because this is pillow fording me hard. Hmm. Okay. Why? Why did you just give up? Why did you concede? Why? You had me! You... What? That's not a thing! Okay, that doesn't count. I mean, it counts for this, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't count in my book. Let's try that again. Um, so I was supposed to do Silvergill Adept reveal probably Seagate Oracle um, and just try to build a board back. Uh, Silvergill Adept would be the one to block, to jump block. Uh, and then we, we try to draw ourselves out. I don't know. I still don't think I should have won that, Ishikawa. My opponent might have been Hellbent, no cards in hand, and uh, Oh, this is fine. And maybe that's it. There's a nice little curve here, too. Check it out. One, two.
two, three, four. Good old merfolk. Coming through for me. Now one of these is going to come in tap no matter what, so it's not a it's not a great curve, unless the next two cards are lands. But it's fine. I'll get an idea of, we'll see what my opponent's on, and that'll give me an idea of what I'll be up to. What do you say, opponent? Feel like it? Do you feel me? <laughs> uh, I regret that I only have, what is this, this is a 16 ounce cup? I only have 16 ounces of tea. Smells good though. You know, YouTube, when will smell vision be a thing? Alright, so while we're waiting on the opponent, uh, real quick, so. Are you waiting on me? Oh no, 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 it's still waiting on them. Okay, I heard that sound. Uh, I thought that my camera was broken. Uh, and it kind of is. The USB is frayed to the point where it won't connect to a computer anymore, but I have a workaround for that. So, camera's back up and running. Alright, come on, opponent, what you got? What do you feel like? Oh, no, okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so there's a, there's a question here. Do I... So if I take two here, I won't take one from speaker. Ooh. Ooh. I'll make them have to shock the speaker. I don't like using... Yeah, I think that's okay, because if I do that... Yeah, then it'll take one off of Mistbinder. Uh, they can also pay one to make it where it can't be blocked anyway, except by walls. Cavalcade of Clo, oh, it's the one power. It's the one power deck. There we go. Look at this unplayable mess. All right, folks. Unplayable. No, it's a fine janky deck. This is a this is a neat card, and it's it's cheap, in, by MTG Arena standards. Lots of commons and uncommons in it. And there's the shock. I'm okay with it. Oh, oh. Still not great. We got this though. We've got this. Folks, we have got this. So we'll do another temple. We'll do a temple. Water Trap Weaver is perfect. You feel like doing damage to me? Let me do it right back to you. I haven't seen the lizard yet. The 1-1, one, 1-mana one, one lizard that when it attacks deals 1 to, I believe it's a player or planeswalker they control. Something like that. Alright, can't be blocked. Cool. Taking 3 here. What else might you have? Light up the stage. Okay. Well, that's not great. Oh, and there's the strike. There's a strike. Well, this Water Trap Weaver is going to... Oh, okay. Huh. Put in some work. We'll play this first, but it, it doesn't actually change anything. Trickster. Trickster's okay. Okay. This feels like a good game. You know what? Oh, slow computer. Slow computer. No, no, no. The uh, opponent's thinking. Because I can still see their aura changing. Okay. We'll say... No, I don't want to say hello now, because that might seem like I'm being a jerk. Hello, when it's used at, at this time, makes it feel like you're a go. Alright. Now, I will say hello. Hiya. Alright. So... 
I'm about to lose this Mist Binder, that's fair enough. Yep, there we go. As as foretold. It's Chandra's Spitfire. Ha ha. Okay, um, things I can do here. Seagate Oracle. Attack a bunch. Let me look at the wording. Whenever a creature you control with power one or less attacks. So... I want to be careful about how I do this, because that's 6 damage on their own, and I'm only at 11. Alright. Jade Light Ranger. I don't want to do the Oracle, actually, unfortunately. Ooh. How about... I don't think it matters at this point, but I think that I will go... Library Graveyard. Play an island. Attack. We're gonna put a stop. We're gonna block one. Take two. Go to seven. In the turn, death is nigh. Yeah, so this Spitfire would be lethal, actually, because of the uh, the interaction between its text whenever an opponent is dealt non-combat damage. Um, that would actually be lethal with the Cavalcade. Of Calamity. So never mind, I, I actually had to do that. It's something I should have known. And I guess I did- oh god, okay. Take four, one, and then three triggers. Is that your your hellbent? So that's good game, I guess. We're gonna just BM here, I guess. This is being BM. <clears throat> nice. Hello. There we go. Nice. Yeah, you do what you <laughs> you do what you can, I guess. You do what you could, opponent. And that gives me another creature for the quest as well. Just throwing that out there. I, I like this deck. I like this deck entirely too much. So we're at 14. So far I'm on track for getting 20, but that isn't quite how I thought this would go. I thought it would be like two quick games and then one that would drag out. Uh, come on, let's play against some like Demir control. Let's play against some surveil control or something. Surveil, surveil reanimator. That's a deck. We a Buddha. We a Buddha. All right. Hmm. Hey, this looks familiar. Look at that land base. Yeah, and it has the same curve too. So once again, we're going to take it. Now, I actually could go Temple first, so that I could do Deep Root. Uh, and that helps me to be efficient with my counters. I get an additional counter if I do it that way. But, unless I draw a 2-drop, which the deck has plenty of, a 1 or 2-drop, I don't necessarily... So, I could do Deep Root, and then turn 3, Kumina, and then a 2-drop. Hmm... Maybe I'm supposed to just advance here, but I'm actually going to try it the slow way. We're going to try to do a deep route. I don't know what I'm up against yet. Kumina is fine. Speaker is fine. Okay. Take two. This thing is definitely not going to live. Well, it's an island, so it might live. This is what? Mono Blue Tempo? Oh, hey. Oh, it's the Flyer Stack! Okay, I'm actually glad that I did that then. Well, since the opponent hasn't represented that they have a creature yet, 
I'll just go speaker. Put it on you. Speaker. Put it on you. And then attack. Three damage on turn three. That's professional magic there. All right. Well, the flyer's deck is uh, is actually kind of a pain. Hanged Executioner. ETB, you make a 1-1 one, one flyer. Okay, um... Hmm... And then what's your other ability? Exile it. Exile target creature. I'm gonna throw this out there. Tap you down. Doesn't matter too much which one I put it on. The, the one I don't put it on is going to, you know, trade here. Uh, so we'll put it on the speaker. I would think that everyone will attack it. Oh, no, no. Okay. If I draw a land, Tempest Caller is, is lethal. If I draw a land that's not called Temple of Mystery, the other temple would not. Ooh, never mind. That's a thing. Uh, Defender and loses flying, but it still has its ability. Ooh, okay. Not looking great here. It's not looking too bad, but it's not looking great. Oh, okay. Well, that's the next best thing, I guess. Alright. Put it on the Water Trap Weaver. Yeah, make the opponent have to block with something. Now, if they... I mean, they can't really exile... Yeah, they can. They can exile Hanged Executioner to get rid of Mistbinder, but... I don't know. Alright, let's see what they see what they have going on. No, they can't. They can't do that. Because then they die no matter what. Oh, they could have the one mana Flash Flyer. That could keep them alive if they do it. Now that they have a fifth land. Hmm. What you got, opponent? Favorable wins. Okay. Pillow Fort. Do all of the pillow forting. <laughs> Curious Obsession. Don't attack. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, just drawing to try to find an answer? Draw two cards. <laughs> uh... Yeah, good game. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Maybe they had a cast blue cards quest. Uh, well, we're not quite there. We're almost, we're one away. If they had given us one more turn, we would have had it. Um, but instead, we're going to do one more Merfolk game. This deck is great. This deck is great. I love it. Now that I've said that, I've jinxed it, so of course it's not going to work. But it's, it's fun. It's fun. Whew. So how has your day been, folks? I've had a pretty good day myself. Um, much better than yesterday. Not thinking that my camera was working, that, that was a, and it, and it actually doesn't work, but thinking that I couldn't salvage it, that was an issue. Let's keep. Play our Biomancer. So it may not look like we have a turn two play, but of course we have the looting from Biomancer. That's a thing. Um... I'm actually strongly considering taking out Deep Root Elite. Alright. Gonna hide from the opponent how many lands we have by playing the Hinterland we just drew. It tells our opponent we just drew because they can see, you know, whence it came. Next, choose attackers. Gonna go and attack. I'm actually going to use the ability now. That's a breeding pool. It's green-white, so it's probably life gain. Man, life gain is such a good deck right now. Okay, no, never mind. It's still life gain, but it's, uh, it's Obzon. 
It's junk. Alright. Let's, uh... Trap them, I guess? It's maybe a little early, a little aggressive to try to trap them here. Before they get something like a pride made out. So maybe this is incorrect. Maybe I'm going to get punished for it. There's another bishop. No pride mate yet. Alright. So, a play I can make here is, and it, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to draw a card here. Seafloor Oracle. Attack with both. Only one's going to get through, but I'll draw a card. There's something. There's a Jade Life Ranger. And then, oh, Resplendent Angel. Okay. Well, that's alright. That's alright. No, it's not. That's a lot of life to gain. Jeez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. Well, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. I should have, probably. I don't know. I was playing towards Pride Mate. So, uh... Yeah, I got punished. To be in my defense, Pride Mate is, I think, an uncommon. This is a mythic, um, which matters on here. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go Kumina. Put a stop on upkeep. And then we will pass the turn. And it's important to do this on the angel instead of on the bishops, even though they don't have the mana to pump angel, because if they play another angel, they'll get another Sarah angel here. That's not where we want to be. So for my turn, I'm going to end my turn by pumping the team. So, folks, do not let me hit my turn. Do not let me hit that button without activating Kumina. We can still, we can still make this. We can still win. I don't know how. That's not good. <laughs> All right. Well, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Yay, life gain. Pass to attacker, and it hit me in the air for four, as you do. Pass on to damage. Alright. Since I only have five merfolk, I wish it didn't make me have to do this. Oh well. Oh well. Yes, I get to loot here. That's nice. Um, let's see. I don't have enough to do Ranger and Speaker. It didn't matter. Okay. Did not matter. Okay. Um, so things I can do here. Tempest Caller, Aggro. Since I don't have another Trickster. I can do Tempest Caller, Aggro. Kill Soren. Man, this is not looking good. I know, I know, I see that. Thank you. Alternatively, I could do Ranger Speaker and then just pump the team even more. I don't know how that gets me a win, though. Oh, heck yes. Count? How many is that? Enough.
Not what I meant to do. Just you, Mr. Tyrant. <laughs> I feel nothing. Okay, it's not looking great. I readily admit it is not looking great. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. We're almost there. <sighs> okay. That results. But I still don't have any creatures in the yard. Oh, I should have just attacked them. I should have just attacked them with Kumina. They'd be at 33 now. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to... I don't think it does. Pass on to attacks. Hit me for seven. Ixalon's binding. Uh oh. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. God, why? Um, that's the next card. Well, hmm. Am I supposed to drop the Tempest Caller here? Let's do some math here real quick. I can't see you. It's 8, 12, 17, 21, 24, not nearly enough. Tempest Caller. I'm sorry, buddy. I love you, man. Alright, what you, what you hitting? Kumena, of course. Okay. Bunch of... Jeez, that's a whole lot. Alright, so we can't win, but we're just going to pretend it's a thing. We're going to pretend. So we're going to pass it right along. Do the biggest swing we can. Let them take it. Now they were at 52 to start this out. Now they're only only 30 damage. All right, we'll get our triggers in. I don't know how we could possibly survive this, but we have a bunch of triggers at least. Okay. So there is a trickster, and that can tap down one of these, but that's not enough. That's simply not enough. Uh, I'm gonna just give him the good game. We've already gotten our reward. Oh, oh good game first. So it didn't matter that I didn't attack them, I attacked Soren instead. Yeah, I played around the wrong thing on that consequential turn. I played around Pride Mate when I should have played around the Angel. Oh well. Oh well. You know what might help a little bit? Packs. Let's open a pack. I'm still digging for stuff from War of the Spark, so let's go pull one out, I guess. Let's see. See if we can find an Ugin or a Karn. Those are the, the ones for which I'm looking. I already have two Karn the Great Creators and one Ugin. Alright, what you got? Yeah, my first two packs of War of the Spark, by the way, had uh, Karn in them. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Sure, that's pretty cool. Teferi's not bad. <laughs> I think that's an understatement. Teferi's not bad. No kidding, Jay. No kidding. Alright, so the rest of what we have here... Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, looks like a decent pack, right? Every card here is played in something. Even if it's janky. Alright, so real quick, six more till a rare, eighteen more till a mythic. And I have three rare, seven mythic, four in common, nineteen commons. I have a few. Um, you know, what would I like to play now? Let's play some drakes. Yeah, let's play some drakes. That's fine. 
I like Drake's. Shout out to Drake. Shout out, you know, there, in Melee, there's Walgreens Drake. It's, uh, it's Axe, it's Jeffrey. But uh, here we have Ravnica Drake, and I'm alright with that. Why whizzies? You whizzies. There we go. <laughs> Alright. This is... I'll, I'll keep. This is fine. We'll pretend it's okay. Touch screen, please. Alright, pass turn. Ah, forget it. Scorch Spitter. Resolve. Make them think I have like a spell pier or some sort of counter spell. Um, is it right to go after it early? It, I think it might be. Steamkin. Okay, that that's an exception. I might want to use it on the Steamkin. Well, no, actually it's fine. So I can Lightning Strike the Scorch Spitter, and then Beacon Bolt the Steamkin. Just gonna keep them off of their early plays. Just don't let them play the game. No gut shots in this format. Bye bye. All right. Ooh. Mm. Cavalcade. Yep. Yeah, there you go. See this face? Torch courier. You're the hasty one. Which one are you? I can't see. It won't show me. Alright. Sack it to give another creature haste. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, hmm. I can slow roll it and go strike, steam vents tapped. I think that's what I'm going to do. Do I have to? No. But I'm being entirely too cautious with my life total. And I know that. Oh, that has haste as well. Um, Legion Warball. Oh, God. All right. I said resolve. All right. Please, sack it. Nope. They're not. I... I might have thought that they would have tried to sack it. All right. Hmm. Maybe I should do Mystic, but one of these can't be blocked no matter what. So maybe Mystic isn't as relevant as I would hope. <sighs> You're a 3-4. You're a 1-5. We're going to set up the wall. They only have one card in hand. I think this might be alright. It's also harder for them to kill. Yeah, can't be blocked. I'm going to take two here. Nope, nope, they're going with both of them. Oh, okay, okay, they they pulled it back. Alright, um... Let's anticipate main phase. There's a shock. That's what I'll take. I didn't need to do it then. I did not need to do it then. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they see the writing on the wall. It that card gets out of hand really quickly. It's only one of in the deck, but it's it's pretty it's pretty okay, I'd like to think. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's do another game of Drake's. That seems okay. I like this deck. You may have seen the Gruel Land Destruction. 
That deck is A, not done, I'm missing entirely too many pieces, B, it's Popper, uh, and C, the version of it that... So there is a version of it that you can run in Standard. It runs Crucible of Worlds and Memorial to the red one, the one that the land that destroys lands, but Risen Reef says, no, you're not a card. You don't actually get to play. So it's not a good deck. <laughs> it's also the kind of deck that you play if you don't want to have friends. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? Thornwood. Okay. Play control, full control, and then pass through, threaten having something like opt, I guess. Alright, there we go. That's fine. Took it down. Let's just say pass. Yoga. Okay. Um, sure. That's fine. This... What is this deck? What did they just discard there? Uh-oh. When it attacks, deal 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 targets. Yeah, it's Reanimator. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. What are we rocking here? Look at the battlefield. Yeah, my screen is not bright. Okay. I'm gonna take Shimmer Shine over here. I have a toddler. I have to know that reference. Okay. Do we just get the beats going now? I guess? Uh, Drake. Drake, Drake, Drake. Or do we Shimmer? Like, that's not a card I'd like to see. And this deck doesn't have, I think the way that I'm currently building it, it doesn't have any counter spells in it. It used to have Spell Pierce, at one point it had Defiant Strike, or Stroke. It doesn't anymore. I'm almost paused. There's the black mana. Okay. Well, folks. Oops, I'm sorry. Let me look at your stats again. There's 7-7. Seven, seven. Yikes, that card is good. Yikes! Alright. Well... I say we go to combat. Hit them for one. If I play out two of these creatures then Dracoseth can only deal with one of them, because it only deals four damage, the way it's worded, four damage to any target and three damage to each of up to two other targets. So it can't kill both of them. You can't kill both. There's the bond. Alright, and it has haste. Which one are you going to kill? Crackling Drake, obviously. And then deal three damage to it and three damage to me, and then I can't block. Oh no, you left me... Oh, very interesting. No blocks. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see. I think we only have one instant sorcery. Yep. Rao, your turn to shine. We can still do this. We can still pull out. Alright. Hope we get something good. That's that's good. You were correct, my friend. You were correct. So we're getting pretty close to the point where well what I'm hoping anyway is that we can do Beacon Bull Oh wait, 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 crap, crap, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's when it attacks. Oh, it's when it attacks, not when it enters the battlefield. 
Dude. Uh, okay, I think what I was thinking in my mind was, in my mind, where else was, was I thinking in my bones, was an effect that good, it comes down and does 10 damage divided three ways. That has to be a one-time thing. No, that's every time it attacks, Jay. That's every time it attacks. <laughs> okay, um... Let's go back into the deck real quick. Let's fix something up. Because if that Shimmer had been a stroke, that, that's what Shimmer was. So Shimmer is coming out. It's only one. And we are going to... Let's see. It's all Spell Pierce, but I think I would rather... Disdainful, not Define. Disdainful Stroke. Let's do one Disdainful Stroke. Is there anything else that I would like to take out for Disdainful? Uh, maybe one Velocity? Oh wait, I only have one. Hmm. Okay. Blink of an eye? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna try it, actually. I don't know that it's better than Shimmer. But I like the tempo, and it can draw me a card later in the game, so I'm going to try that. One Disdainful Stroke, and only one Maximize Velocity. It's a solid card. It's a good card. Sometimes you just win out of nowhere. Uh, but it's easy for it to be redundant. Uh, and plus, winning that quickly, that, that's not necessarily how I'm trying to win the game. You can just build a big enough creature and go. Alright, and one is what I'm going to end up doing next standard anyway when we lose Enigma Drake. Just, we replace Drake with Terramander, and the deck pretty much gets to stay intact. Yeah, we're going to keep this. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. The deck gets to be a little dumb next time around. Okay, uh, is that deck again? I think we'll live. I think we'll be alright. I'm a little bit worried that I can't deal with this thing too quickly, unfortunately. I'm expecting a Steamkin here. Show me a runaway Steamkin. Yep, called it. I am... Am I good or am I good? No. Uh, okay, Sulfur's good. If I hit... Oh, good. Okay, so I don't actually have to click it. Okay. Take one. I guess we will go... Discovery. There's no point in bluffing something. Let's just get our tempo in. I see two Crackling Drakes and an Enigma Drake already. I think that I would like... Enigma Drake... Yeah, you can go in the grave. I think I'm likely enough to come across another land, and even if I don't, I at least have Enigma Drake. Even if I don't have Crackling Drake. So we're gonna send both of those to the yard. Hmm. Okay. Well. Wizard's Lightning! Oh, okay. Preemptive Wizard's Lightning. That means we're gonna fire something else at me so that we can give the Lava Runner haste and plus one plus up. Or... We'll, have, we'll just have that. That's fine. Oh. Oh, wow. This is getting out of hand entirely too quickly. Alright. Counters? Nope. Just hit me for four. Whew! Okay. Well, we're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble. We're in a whole lot of trouble. Barney Rubble. We only have two instants and sorceries here. Which means we can't kill Steamkin. I guess we just put up a wall. Drake wall. Yeah, this game is over, though. <laughs> this, this game is already over. I can't do anything against a start like that. Jeez. I'm actually just gonna save my opponent the time. 
Good game. You earned it. You earned it. Red deck is a <laughs> red deck is always a good deck in standard, but it's it's pretty good right now. Yeah, there's always a red deck in standard. And I like that. I wish there were always a blue deck in standard too. And right now there's a green deck and yada yada yada. Oh, burn baby burn. Uh, let it be. Combustible lemons. <laughs> okay, okay. What's that a reference to? I know that's a... Oh, what is combust... When life... Oh, oh, combustible lemons. Oh, it's a Team Fortress 2. That's it, it's Team Fortress 2. Uh, this is, this is wrong, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I think I'll draw a blue source. It's easier when I only have blue sources than when I only have red sources, because with blue sources I can use something like Opt or Anticipate to draw myself into more. And, uh, combustible lemons. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Cemetery. Paradise Druid. Yeah, I can't do much about that one, unfortunately. That's a really good card. Because it guarantees that you're going to be able to have it for the next turn. Unless you have to chump with it. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no! It's, it's a different Valve game. Combustible Lemons are a different Valve game. They're not uh, Team Fortress 2. They're uh, ha uh, Portal. Portal 2. Portal 2. That's what it is. Alright, I got there. I got there. You're a go. What are you, what are you saying? I'm not taking that long. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we'll shock. Be efficient with our mana. Oh, what? Just happened. Did I not draw a card? What just happened? Oh, are they doing something on my upkeep? What's going on? Stop before next turn. Okay, we got there. I must look like the stupidest mono red deck. <laughs> what is going on, deck? Please. Please. I, I asked for this by not mulling. Alright, let that go. What? Command the Dread Horde. Oh no. Gonna hit me? No? What are you saying your go about? Is my computer being really laggy? Is that it? I mean, it is, but are you seeing that? You're the one that had... No, oh, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll pause for a little bit. Make our opponent think that we might have something we're pondering, we're thinking about. And then we'll say go. Yeah, this is not looking great, folks. Now, given how many different lands of different colors I'm seeing, I think there's some chance that we might be running into the field deck, too. This might be the field deck. Yes, uh, when it or another land enters and you have at least seven lands, you get to make a 2-2 Zamboni. <laughs> Tristan is <great. laughs> No! Stop! You are not allowed. Uh, okay. Draw a card? Well, too little too late, I'm afraid. Too little too late. How many? Two? Yeah, no. Um, well, I'm gonna dig now. Your go, dude! Do you know me? Does Combustible Lemons know me? Is that why I'm getting this? Alright. Did I do something to anger you by chance? I'm sorry if I did. Alright, so I, I need the Sulphur Falls in order to cast the Drake next turn. Take a bunch. Not that it matters much, because Command the Dreadhorde is a card. 
Let's take a look at this. Oh, in graveyards. Never mind. They can still do it. They don't need to, because, you know, pretty close to... Oh, they're going to do it anyway. It cuts the clock by a turn. <laughs> I'm halfway tempted to say, you're go. <laughs> you're go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> Here go. I'm halfway tempted just to stall for a little while longer. This person has to know me, right? Is that... There, there has to be a reason like that. Alright. Play Discovery here. I don't know what I could possibly find. But it's not these. It's definitely not these. This is not a good come-from-behind deck, unfortunately. This tries to, you know, build up some creatures and just keep whacking you with them. It can keep you off. But it can't come from behind, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Alright, but all kidding aside, I'll give him the good game. Good game. You got me. Combustible lemons, indeed, have been thrown. Uh, Cave Johnson. That's the guy's name. Cave Johnson. I just played against and lost to Cave Johnson. All right, Drakes, you haven't been treating me as well as I would have liked. Let's give you one more chance before we move on. Unumas! Oh, one more good chance. And we'll see where we go from there. All right. E. Hughes, zero one. Okay. I go first. I like that. I definitely like that. It's past the turn. You want to see something cool, folks? Oh, well, you may have to wait till next turn. I uh, will just do it now. Blink of an eye. Uh. Sure. Alright, so check this out. Uh, sure. Let that resolve. I think we're supposed to take the land here. And, of course, we get another one. As you do. Play the drake. Pass the turn. Yeah, I can do that with both legs, too. Although this one's a little bit harder. Tell which one I practice more, I guess. Uh-oh. Pupperino. Hi, Pupperino. Well, you can't bounce that. <laughs> not really. Let's not say we didn't. Um... I'm just going to build a field. Draw a card. Put myself ahead a little bit. And I guess... I guess I'll go attacking. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some damage in. Hmm. Tolson, oh, this is the wolf's deck. Okay. ETB, please, please move out of the way. I, I don't know this card. Enters the battlefield, create Voya, legendary, blah, blah, blah. When a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain free life, and that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. I guess we won't block then. 
Okay. It's fights. Wait a minute. Fights or deals damage? Fights. Oh, I didn't have enough to actually kill it. That makes sense. So... There is a play. Something I could do here is I could wait for them to try to play another wolf, and then while it tries to deal damage, while it tries to fight one of my creatures, I can bolt it. So they lose the creature too. I can't. I don't think I can quite go on offense just yet. I can do Drake and then have Strike on the ready. Maybe I'm supposed to kill you now, actually. I'm not sure. It's probably not a great idea. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, 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 just a minute. Yeah, no, I know where that's going. Don't you do it. Alright, you get a wolf. You get a pupper. Hmm. Alright. So things we can do. We can blink to put something back in their hand, which means we can blink one of the pups, one of the wolves. This one, because it has a counter. Then we can do maximize velocity, targeting who cares, uh, you, Bob. Bob gets maximize velocity. I'm going to send a Drake over at you, finish you off, and then the other two are going to come swinging in this direction, and hopefully that'll be game. Not really, but if they can't do something about it this next turn. You did your best. You did your best. Alright, what you got? Okay, but it'll create another legend. <laughs> so they don't actually net any wolves here. And then it can fight a creature, but my creatures will kill it. You gain three life, and that creature fights. Oh no, they're gonna lose the creature! Oh no! It's not a May. You must. Right? Am I seeing that correctly? Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life, and that creature fights up to one. I'm sorry, okay. Okay, so it is not a May, but it is up to one. So, I, I misread that. I didn't see May and stopped reading, apparently. Alright, so I think this is game. But just to be a jerk, I guess. Let's go kill Dude Buddy here. You know, I probably also should have done maximize. Well, no, 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 that's fine. If I maximize velocity, I net one on the Crackling Drake, but I lose one on the other two. All right, what do we get? Manifold Key. Hey, I know a deck that could maybe use that. Let's go to our, not our packs, let's go to our decks. Let's do this one. Uh, so this is, this is the only colored card in the whole deck, Joyra. Uh, and that explains the weird mana base. This is not an actual thing. This is... <laughs> it's a very technical term. <laughs> Alright. So, we can add a manifold key. In doing so, we have to take something out. And I kind of want to take Joyra out. I don't know. The, occasionally, she's really good. She just lets you draw through a ton of cards in your deck. But you have to do all of this, like not all of this, like the Steam Vents and the Sulphur Falls, to make it work. And that's just not, 
That's just not great. Uh, so what else can I take out? Maybe a God Pharaoh statue that still leaves two in the main deck, one in the side, and God Pharaoh's statue is legendary. So let's try this deck out. I just want to give it one go. It's probably not going to succeed. This is not an optimal version of the deck. This is a deck just to have fun. This is a deck I play to have fun. And it's not the bit. It's not even the best version of Karn Mud that I have. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try and do it. <sighs> okay. El Caronte. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. This is a weird hand. We're going to keep it. Yay! <laughs> How about play this tapped and pass the turn? Torch Courier. Oh boy. That answers the next question. What's the next thing we're going to cast? It's a Gleaming Barrier. If they kill it, we'll have a treasure token and we'll use it to play the Power Stone Shard. Like, this this could go really well for me, but I need to live long enough, and I don't know that I will. Cap, yeah, I don't think I will be. I don't think I'll be living long enough for that to matter. Choose blockers? Well, gee, I wonder. Hello? Block. There we go. We got there. Take one. I mean, I've already taken the one. Oh, fun. Um, okay. So now, if we would like to play a Power Stone Shard, we have to take two. Because Sulphur Falls doesn't work on itself. And I don't... I would not like to take two against this deck. But... Um, it might work out for me. It might be worth it. Because if I can get that God Pharaoh statue online, or if I can get Ugin to take out the uh, Calamity, we might actually get it to work. We might be okay. So next turn we're gonna have... Oh god. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Please click. I don't know if that's a touchpad issue, or if my computer's just slow and missed an input, or what. Alright. Putting in work. You are putting in work, buddy. Cryptic Caves. Alright. So we can go Power Stone Shard. Basically for free, because we're going to spend three mana. Ooh, you know what? Blue. Red. Hello? Blue. Power Stone Shard. Please attack. Actually, I might get... No, it's okay, it's okay. If they use a burn spell on the Mobilized District, I, I can live with that. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good one bit. Alright, let's see who's attacking. As if I don't know. Jeez. Whoa, that, that was crazy. Please click. There we go. A4. think that that's correct. Alright. Maybe we can stabilize here. Maybe now we can stabilize. So if I play God Pharaoh's statue, I can kind of just lock the... Wait a minute. Ugin costs six, and then God Pharaoh's statue will... Okay, we're not quite there. We're almost there, but we're not quite there. But if I play God Pharaoh's statue here... Not that way. No, 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 I can do Ugin instead, and Ugin will make a 2-2. Two -two. 
How to undo. Undo. Oh crap. Undo. There we go. Self run void. Scry and see what we get first. Bag of holding. Not now. You're a really good card. But not right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Let me read the wording on Calamity. Okay. For this turn... Godfair statue. Okay, they can go back to playing cards again. Gonna take a bunch of damage here. Gonna take five damage. I may regret having done that, to be honest. I may regret it. Please do that the first time. Okay. Yeah, Ugin was probably correct. Using the Ugin was probably correct there. I, I did not, though. So that's on me. Ooh, do you have me? Ah, oh, Jay. You threw this game. Oh, you know what? Did I have the mana to... Wait, did I have the mana to play Mobilize District? Let's see. One, two, three, four. F five, six. Yeah, I threw that. Oh. Okay. All right, Eugene. If I had last turn used Eugene's minus, I'm dead anyway, so I'm gonna concede. Ah, okay. I should have used Eugene's minus, destroyed one of the calamities, and then basically sacrificed Ugin instead of the statue. That was such a bad decision, Jay. That was such a bad decision. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. That didn't feel... that... that was all me. That was all me there. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Even if I, instead of, uh... well, it would have been correct to hit the Calamity anyway, but even if I had made a token there instead, at least they'd be down to fewer creatures. And they wouldn't have been able to skewer there. Well, no, they would have. They just... because a God Pharaoh's statue would not have been on, out. It just didn't work no matter what. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was so bad. That was so bad. Ah, live and learn. I was I was getting greedy, but even if I, I should have realized on board they had enough damage that Godfair's statue wasn't going to be enough. <laughs> All right. Ethox. Let's go with that. A hey, Ethox. Hello, there's that manifold key again. Long time no see, buddy. Alright. <laughs> What's that sound? Oh, pet the kitty. Well, I'm actually just going to let it come in tapped. I don't need the key right now. Okay. Sure. I don't know if I need the barrier just yet. This is a weird line. This is a weird line. All right. There we go. Maybe you'll get a chance to see what Manifold Key does in this deck. It's a solid card. There's Steamkin. Okay.
Oh, I'll play the barrier instead of the ramp. I don't have a payoff for the ramp just yet, and this will keep me alive. Alright, how dead is this thing? They had their cursor over it. Maybe they're just reading it. See what happens. It makes a treasure. It is a treasure. Alright, get you counters. I'll take two. Come on! Come on! Alright. Pass two attackers. Hit me just to hit me. Yes, I will block. Yes, this thing will get shocked. I I understand that. That's not a bug, that's a feature. Oh, a wizard's lightning. Yep. We are A-OK -okay with that. And then it gets hit. Alright, we got our treasure. Go on to my turn. Bag of holding. So, first things first, I guess. We have four mana right now. We can do Geode. Geodude. Geodude. There's a land, albeit one that comes in tapped. I think that I would like a business spell. I don't think I'm going to get to use Memorial of Genius this game. Not really. Pay the two. It means I have to burn the treasure. And then we'll pass right along. Right on, Dak, right on. Okay, what do we have? Next turn, we'll go use Globe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, just the one. For now. For now. Okay, light up the stage. Yeah, so now it's a hasty, now it's a hasty one. What is that, a lightning strike? Chain Whirler. Uh, that's... If I were a creature deck, if I were a merfolk, this is often not something I would like to see. Um, oh, fun. So, obvious lightning strike is obvious, but I'm going to make them use it here. We'll block, take six. If you strike me down... Oh, it's targeting me. Okay. There it goes. No, that's right. They can just target me instead. What am I... It's fine. It's the right thing to do, nonetheless. Hey, Chain Whirler. And now I'm at eight. Well, that escalated quickly. That escalated really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> No! Not like this! Not like this! Let's draw a card. Although, what card could I possibly draw at three mana? Not that. Ha! <laughs> uh, before we can see, we'll say good game. You know. You got me. You got me. So th this deck did a lot of nothing. Okay, one more try. I'll give it one more chance, Jackie. One more try! I loved that show growing up. I can't be the only one that remembers Jackie Chan Adventures, right? That was a that was a show. And I like the E Honda character that changed the good guy side. <laughs> I don't even remember his name, but he's gonna be E Honda for me. Alright, let's see. What is Fountain of Renewal doing in my main board? I've forgotten about that, actually. <laughs> hmm. Well, play that scry. Steam vents. What else? Um, Icy Manipulator. I'm actually going to shove that. Play Fountain of Renewal. It's going to come out. Might as well be turn one. All right. Beautiful sound, by the way. Leyline of Sanctity. I, I won't be targeting you too much.
Um, I'm going to let this come in tapped and play the key. Judging by the land I'm seeing on the other side, I don't think I need the Gleaming Barrier just yet. Not just yet. Watch me be wrong. Alright. If we can race to this Icy Manipulator, that would be good. That would be where we'd like to be. And lo, we got there. Sort of. We'll keep that. We will absolutely keep that. And pass the turn. So next turn, Icy Manipulator with mana to hold up so we can tap our opponent down, or a creature or whatever down. And then hopefully next turn, Ugin. Go to town. Ugin free barrier. Ooh. Okay, never mind. We might not get the manipulator yet. Sorry I'm late. Minus. Minus. Draw a card. Targeting fountain? Manifold key. Sure. I don't think they know what I'm trying to do. If you say so, bud. If you say so. Oh, I could play the key here, and I, I will net later, but not yet. For now, Icy Manipulator, tap down their black source, and then pass right through. Alright, so this was a deck. This has been a deck occasionally through Magic's history. Uh, now I think I know what Teferi's gonna go after next time. <laughs> ah, okay. Tonebound Lich. Okay, next time we'll go after the Plains. I was correct, I think, in thinking that the Black Mana was more important, but they got there. They got there. Okay, well, we did get mana. Just not in the way that I had hoped. We're not so worried about the Tonebound Lich because we can tap it down. One, two, three. Scry one. Land. That's good. That's good. And then I can do just the key. Well, I have two mana. I could do the barrier instead. It doesn't really matter here. They're both going to be free next turn regardless. And I don't have enough mana to go uh, Manipulator, Key, Manipulator. So we're going to pass. I should have done the key, though. If I'm going to tap this thing down... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. This is right. I think this is right. I already have a blocker for it. If they burn a Tyrant Scorn or something on a Gleaming Barrier, all the better. I oh, okay. They still got the white mana. Unfortunately, they keep getting the mana. Ah, all right, whatever. I got this. All right, so obvious block is obvious. All right. Wait a minute. It's Death Touch. Jay, you genius. You forgot it had Death Touch? Of all things, dude. How did you forget that? Oh, whatever. Screw it. Alright. Do not defy the designs of an elder dragon. Artifact, creature, or enchantment. Let's make a dude arena. With that many cards in hand, I'm a little bit worried, but I think it might be more appropriate to try to tap the elite guard mage down.
Next turn, I'll be able to tap two things down every time. Uh, we're just going to let them run through this one. Alright, Teferi, what you got? Yep, that's that's what I had thought. Here goes nothing. Alright. Alright. Let's see. What do we feel like doing? Another Tonebound Lich. Hmm. That's okay. Resolve. Draw a discard. That's a lot of cards to go through. Ooh. Oof. I could use another key. That would be nice. Another key would be real nice. For this turn, though, we're going to tap down the Guard Mage, let them attack with the Tonebound Lich. Give me a card. Please give me a card. I, I will not say no to that. At me? Actually, you know what, I might... Maybe I'm supposed to say no to that. Maybe. I'm gonna gain one back... Oh, no, no, it's gonna draw a discard. Um... Hmm. And I'm about to be able to tap two down anyway, so, yeah. Rather than let them draw a discard, I'll instead just gain a card myself. I mean, they'll gain life. Cool. Alright. Two cards. Let's go. <gasps> oh, this is so mean. This card is so mean. It's not that big of a deal here. Uh, and the reason is because the opponent is going to... Ooh, here we go. It's a Power Stone Shard. God Pharaoh's statue. Play a Zalfrin Void. There's a Manifold Key. Actually, yes. That's good. That's good here. We will uh, pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, that's what I expected. Uh, we'll say resolves. Here we go. That's what I expected, unfortunately. That's alright, it ends up working out. Alright, what you got, opponent? As if I don't know... I'm just gonna be doing this dance for a while, aren't we? At least Ugin does something every turn. Baby Teferi, not so much. Ooh, uh-oh. Yeah, now we're in trouble, folks. Now we're in trouble. Yes, you are. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing, unfortunately. That's going to be a thing. I can't say I'm too pleased with that. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll pop the treasure in just a second. Oh, no, you don't. I will take my power stone, sh uh, power sworn, power stone shard. There we go. 
right? Draw that card. As you do, yay for card advantage. Alright, what else do we have? Uh, I will draw a card. It's the key. I know it's the key. Pay the one. So I have to burn a treasure. That's alright. Can I please draw another planeswalker? A Karn would be good. Uh, other Karn would be good. Uh, no, apparently not. I cannot yet. Hmm. We'll play the free key. Free key. Ha 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 ha. Play the one mana power stone shard. This is a fun deck. Secrets manifest before you. What is it? I can't see. Is it doing the power stone shards? Yeah, okay, it is. Okay, cool. Alright, well, we're in great shape, folks. <laughs> this is so dumb. This deck is dumb. Getting real dumb in here. So, two manifold keys and an icy manipulator means we can tap down all three of their creatures. But I'm sure they have another... They could use Sorin's Minus. Alright, that's fine. They can use Sorin's Minus to get another... Um, Elite Guard Mage. Eventually, they're going to be able to overtax my uh, my key effects. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. All right, called it. I'm also going to call win or lose. This is my last game for this session. I'm sorry about that, but this is this is going to be it. <laughs> I'm going to win on the deck out plan. I don't. Think so. I don't think that's how this is going to go. Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna return the key. <laughs> I mean, the they have to, not the key, the manipulator. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, that's not good. This takes so long. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, we're we're going to pop that fountain, I believe. I believe that that's correct. We're going to pop the fountain. Uh, come on. All right, we'll see. Memorial. Oh, okay. I, I guess. We have yet another key, so we can tap down four things. Okay, um, so I have enough mana to tap down four things. I can use Ugin's Plus to get another card. Or, or, I can destroy a permanent. Probably a permanent named Soren. If I do that, Ugin goes to three. I can tap down four of them, block one. Or I could destroy a creature. I can already do four. I'm sorry, friend. Old friend. That's that's kind of cool. That's what they are, dude. That's kind of cool. All right. Next, we will pass the turn. All right. Hit you for a point. <laughs> Twenty-eight all. <laughs> Twenty-eight all. Let's see how much space I have on the card. Enough. Enough. More than enough. Okay. 
What you got? What you got? Cool. Cool. This might be a bad idea. As Evangeline would say, cool, dude. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're pointing at a key. I don't like that. I don't like that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just reading it, I hope. Yeah, I will build card advantage with this Ugin. If it's the last thing I do. And I think that there's actually a case for taking the Teferi instead. Because I can get to a point where they have five creatures. I have four. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, it's just another guard mage. Uh. Okay. To a player. Alright, let's get it started. One. Go right in between them. Two. Three. Yeah, because of the way the auto tapper worked, I actually am going to waste a mana here, unfortunately. It doesn't actually make a difference, but it's still incorrect. Block. Ugin takes one. A foolish move. <gasps> okay, Karn. Okay, Karn. I see what you're doing. Yes, Karn. Hey, buddy. How are you? Oh, Jay. I probably should have done... Well, it's fine. I'll, I'll get that back soon anyway. Play a one mana geode. Uh, scry that to the bottom. I could use a business spell. Let us begin. There is a temptation. There is a strong, almost irresistible temptation to <laughs> animate Godfair. <laughs> Alright, do I have any voltaic keys? Any other voltaic keys here? Not in this version, apparently. Um, so in that case, I guess I get a meteor golem. All right, make sure I do this correctly because I don't want to run out of mana. One, two, three, four. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana in order to tap down everything. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, X is three. So, uh... Unfortunately, I can't do that this turn. I'll do it next turn, though. Meteor Golem for next turn. Meteor Golem for Smash. I believe you, Teferi, I believe you. <sighs> Not again. Okay. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's, let's do this for a little while. You know, hmm, it's fine. 
So this deck has two IC manipulators in the main board. Instead of having one main, one side. Which might have made a difference here. This is so fun. Fun, engaging magic, folks. Engaging magic. Alright. Going after our boy, Ugin. Alright. Get a Karn. Two mana Karn. Two mana Karn. I love it. Deal one down. Okay. Ugin, you're getting pretty close, bud. Unfortunately are getting pretty close. Okay, yet another shard. I don't know that I need to draw here. So, I could do Meteor Golem first. I just need to make sure I have enough mana left over. So I can blow up either of these. And I think there's a case for either one. So by not hitting the sword in here, I am going to lose Ugin. Unfortunately, I am going to lose Ugin. Well, actually, not necessarily. I, I can trade a Meteor Golem for a Lich. I will not another this is a long game. Alright. Well, how much mana do I have left open? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So I have enough for Karn. Until you have lived as a statue, do not. And this is one of the reasons why I hit Teferi instead. Teferi can't just bounce this guy. Alright. Now I think we have to pass here. And so we are. We're getting really close to the point where I can just make enough tokens, I can make enough of these Karn struts, and then swing for lethal, because I can make them where they can't be blocked. Thief of Sanity. Oh, jeez. That's okay, that's okay. We can live with that. Part of the reason that we can live with that is we can tap it down. We can make it where... It, oh, no. <sighs> yeah. Can't do anything about that. Alas. Oh well. Okay. Well... We're probably gonna let a Karn struct... Yes, yes, please kill the... Please kill the Karn. Please... Yes. Karn's dead. What a mess I made. You sure did, man. Pass to attackers. Let's not say we didn't. All right, we're gonna be doing this for a while. Hello? Okay, got there. I'm sorry, folks. This takes a this takes a hot minute. Riveting Magic the Gathering. I, I've i already asked, how are you doing, folks? How are you all doing? I'm having the time of my life. A 
absolutely having the time of my life here. All right, well, bag of holding for nothing. That's okay, I guess. First, I guess we'll draw a card. <laughs> okay, that's that's cool, but we already used both of our meteor golems. Ugh, okay, we have other stuff. We can get like Juggernaut, weird stuff like that. So no matter what, I am going to plus Ugin. So I'll use that to build a little more time. Lies beyond vision. Some solutions must be built. Play a bag. Now, if I go attacking here, I will kill the Soren. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. You're the one that's not summoning sick. I almost clicked the wrong one. Damage. Another day. Our actions determine the course of history. Make a six six. Allow and it's until my next turn, so it gets to just be a wall. End turn. Is this lethal next turn? If they can't do anything about it? Let's see. I, just from what I see, they're at 34. I have 26 here. Okay, so we're close. That's 32 on its own. Hey, 32! It's okay. These guys have lifelinks, so that won't last for long. Oh! Yes. They can activate the ability one time. Let's do this real quick. You... And... This is so stupid. This is so stupid. I still feel like I could lose this, though. If I'm not careful, I still feel as if I can lose it. One slip up and I'm done. The only other thing I can do here is use bag. All right. Sorry, Ugin. Goodbye. You've served me well. No. No, Ugin lives, Karn dies. Yeah, I can't do much about that. I am wrong. You have erred. All right, we'll do this. It, whatever I draw, it's going to get discarded. It's a geode, so that's not much. Alright, what do we have? Cryptic. Um... Alright, so obvious plus is obvious.
I'll draw a card, see what I draw. What's it going to be? It's a land. Okay, so once again though, if I plus... Don't I have lethal? I thought I clicked you. Hey, there we go. You. Evil cannot withstand a okay, let's, let's do the math on this again. 13, 26, 32. Am I missing anything? I don't think I am. Please let me do this, opponent. Oh crap. Oh crap. Which one can't be blocked? Okay, they got there. <laughs> I actually wonder if I if I had misclicked the wrong one, maybe. Okay, we got there. We got there. Oh my goodness, that was so fun. That was so fun, folks. That was the most fun I've had playing in a while. That was great. All right. I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. That obnoxious monstrosity of a deck. Whew. What? If that's cool to you, get, please give this a like. Please sub, because I have more of those. <laughs> I have more of those. All right, so that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>